Hey guys, welcome back to Freak Motion. In today's video, we are going to recreate this intro animation inside of After Effects. Thanks to those guys who suggested me to make this video. So without wasting any more time, let's jump into the After Effects and let's get started. So basically, this is the intro animation. There are four slides of the text animation and all of them using the same technique, just in the different direction. Alright, I have already recreated three of them and I will show you the last one. Don't worry, I will explain in a such way so you can recreate all of them on your own. I will share the fade out technique also. So make sure you keep watching till the end of the video. This is the last slide and I already make a composition of this. Inside this composition, you can see there are only two layers. One is the text layer and one is the rectangle shape layer. Let's animate the shape layer first. All the animation will be starting from the 1 second duration. I will tell you the reason later. Now open the shape layer, open rectangle 1, then open path 1. And convert this path to brazier path. After that you can move this corner point like this. Now go to the 2 second duration and add a keyframe on the path. Then come back to 1 second and drag these two points somewhere like this. So this is a basic path animation. You can see the output here. If you keep the point like this, the starting of the animation will be little bit different. But let's keep it like this so we can get the exact animation. Alright, let's animate the text. First select the text layer and create a mask like this. Try to keep the mask size same as the shape layer. Now open mask property and add a keyframe on the mask path at the 2 second duration. Then come back to the first frame and match these two points with the shape layer just like this. After that you should get this type of text animation on the text. Now we need to animate the text itself. For doing that, click on this animate button and add position property. On the same time duration, add a keyframe on the position. Then come back to one second and change the position something like this. We move the text in the different direction so we can get the text coming inside the box. And this is the all. Now select all the keyframes and easy is them. Open Graph Editor and make sure you are in the Edit Speed Graph and change the Graph Curve something like this. So we are done with the animation inside the composition. I show you the animation of the right side slider. For the left side slider you just need to animate the shape and the text to the left side. That's mean you just need to do the vice versa of the animation. In our original animation, we can see these little bars at the beginning. That's why I did not drag the mask all the way to the end. Alright, once you've done with all the 4 slides, first you need to arrange the way you need. And if you see at the end, the slides are disappearing in a different way. For doing something similar to that, first make the composition a 3D composition. Then change the anchor point something like this, because this is going to fold in the left side. For right side, you just need to place the anchor point to the right side. The rest, all the steps will be same. Now open position property of the composition. and place the composition somewhere like this. Now add a keyframe on the position on 1 second, go forward to 2 seconds and change the position something like this. The animation looks little bit different from the other text sliders but no worry, we will fix that later. So our text animation is done, let's do the disappearing animation. From the 3 second duration, it will start disappearing. Now open rotation and opacity property, add a keyframe on Y rotation, then go to end keyframe and change the rotation something like this. Now here, add a keyframe on the opacity, then at the end frame, change the opacity value to 0. So it completely disappear at the end. Now select these keyframes and easy is them and change the grab curve something like this. 
now we can see it's looking similar to the rest of the text animation also easy is this keyframes and change the curve something like this everything is same for all the text slides difference is only the anchor point position and the direction as i told you i keep little bit space while i'm doing the save animation just because of this just to match the original animation so this is all for this intro animation for the starting part i mean where the sliders comes one by one for that you can offset the composition in that way i just keep it as simple as i can so this is all for today i hope you like the video thanks for watching see you guys in the next video till then have fun and stay safe